the draw of this place was being on our own. We were coming from a dense urban environment. We were looking for a respite from the congestion and some of the traffic that one finds in a big urban setting. I'm Isaac Robbins. Um, I work at Elliott Architects in Blue Hill, Maine. Stephen and John sent to us some great photos of the landscape around here. Once we finally got together, we walked from the road down to this site. This is a very unusual space. It feels like we're very far away and in this landscape that's been untouched for a long time. When I first got down to this site, the boulder that we experienced as we're coming up the walkway blew me away. And I knew immediately that this is where the house was supposed to be. I envisioned a space for us that was relaxed and easy. I knew there'd be a sense of refinement to it. It wasn't going to be a traditional camp in Maine. One of the more important and consistent aspects throughout the evolution of the design here has always been that we wanted to sit really lightly on this site and let the forest floor flow beneath the house. I think one of the things that was really important when we decided to move up here was to ensure as much light as possible came into this space. I actually knew the site and the orientation on the lot of where this house was going to go because I studied the path of the sun and I knew exactly where it set in the northwest in the late fall. Maine is a place with many seasons, so the architecture has to really respond to that. As things get dark and dreary here in the winter, it can be kind of isolating. So making spaces that feel connected to the outside or feel connected to the light, that's, that's really important. The windows for me are somewhat strategic. When I employed them, the effect was to enlarge the space. It makes it feel much bigger than it actually is, and that affects us psychologically. It never feels tight here when there's a large group, and it's not overwhelming when it's just me sitting here by myself. I sort of see the windows as more than just a transparent barrier to the outside elements. They frame views, they allow in all this light, but they kind of take a back seat to the rest of what's going on here. They're sort of setting me up and then they just kind of disappear. At the end of the project, when the wooden walkway finally went in, that path just summed everything up perfectly. It zigs and zags and doesn't focus on the house itself. It sort of bends to the landscape. It was a great way of stating how the whole project had come to be. I think at the end of the day, the fact that Stephen and John are happy here is the best part of the project for us. I love a lot of the aesthetic choices that were made in this building. The whimsical scale of the siding, its presence on the pond, and the, the fact that it disappears into the woods.